afternoon, everyone. Tis I, Helen Graham. Tis me, tis me. It's Helen from Toad Hollow, and today we are. I'm going to show you how I make a quilt as you go tote bag using the Halloween fabric. It is exactly this bag, actually. Um, and what I'm going to focus on is making the front and the back of the tote bag, and how to make your handles and the placement of the handles. The actual construction of the bag, I didn't focus so much on, so I'm gonna put a link down below for the video that we did for the market tote, which shows you how to do the final construction. But come along. It's gorgeous. So you have our pile of scraps. We have our two pieces of soft and stable. It's gonna be our front and our back. And we have our two bottom pieces. First thing we're going to do is check the orientation of your bottom fabric. Make sure that you have it going the right way. Here's the nose piece of the spectacles. So this is the top, this is the bottom. Then you wanna mark your soft and stable approximately where the bottom measures so that you know that when you're quilting, you don't wanna to go too much below this line. You're gonna go a little bit below it because you wanna have a seam allowance. Also, as you're quilting, everything kind of shrinks a little, but um, so you just don't want to put too much that you're really attached to below this line. Keep the stuff you really like above this line because below it, you have a chance of losing it. I've got my marks on both of my pieces of soft and stable. Then I have decided that my first piece, which is going to be my smallest piece, is going to be one of these witches because I love this fabric. I think this is just about the only piece of this fabric we have left. So I am going to pick which witch I want. We all know that I'm going to pick the witch with Tabitha. So I will cut her out. Fussy cutting. So I have cut her out. And now I know that she's gonna be my first piece. I'll put her kind of in the middle. You don't have to be exact. This is all, it's an artwork in progress right so this is where this is about where I'm gonna put her then we're gonna to go to the sewing machine we're gonna take all our scraps take our bottom pieces and our two soft and stables leave handle any kind of handle fabric and handles that you got in the kit aside for later and off we go to quilt I have my witch hole placed in the center where I want her and we are ready to sew Now you can see I've not only sewn her on, I've done the quilting. I'm just going straight up and down uh, in the direction of the fabric. And now I pick my next fabric that I want to go alongside her. I'm kind of going through my scraps and looking for a small-ish piece. So I've, I have this orange and black polka dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this alongside her. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them right sides together to sew my seam. But as you can see, this is way too long. So I get my trusty scissors. And I'm just going to cut. If it's a little longer or a little shorter, that's okay. You can make up for it when you're putting something along the bottom of them. I just want it to be approximately the same size. First thing I do, so right sides together. That one you want to do at about a quarter inch. That there together, so now I'm going to put 
the second piece, turn that so it's right side, and then I will quilt this on to the bedding. So now my second piece is on. And as you can see, these are scraps. So edges are a little wonky, but again, this all gets corrected and I'll show you because we'll do a bottom piece now. I like this black with the moons and I'm gonna do this one along the bottom. As you can see, I have my selvage here, so I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna cut the piece to be approximately the same size as the first two pieces I have here. And then as you can see, it's going way below my bottom line. So I'm going to cut it so that it's uh, not so long either. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut. Third piece, approximately the size I want it. Again, it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So I've got it right sides, wrong, right sides together. See, now my wonky edges are gone because I've Done it. I've put this uh, along and covered up the wonky uh, on straight edges. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quilt this piece on, but I'm, I sewed it on this way, so my quilting lines are now going to go this way. See, this is coming below the line I've drawn, which is okay. It's nothing that I'm too attached to. I'm okay if part of or all of this gets cut, uh, covered up, but I do want to have some below the line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue along picking pieces. So now if I want to come along the side here, I need a piece that's going to be as long as these piece, this block that I've done already. Or I can go across the top and just have it be that wide. So it's just a matter of choice. So now you get to do is put the puzzle together and we'll just put it all together and quilt it. So now what I've done is um, I've gotten it to the point where the only way to get no raw edges is to add strips going down the sides here. So if I have smaller pieces like these that I really kind of want to use into it, what I can do and what I will show you is I can sew these together, not onto the stable to make a column or a strip and then I'll sew that strip together. So we'll do that now.
sewn these three fabrics together. Now they are one long strip. And now I can just add them as if they were one piece of fabric. is complete. Now we put on the, the bottom piece. Everything's quilted on. Now we just need to line up our spectacles and sew that on. Now you can see my edges along the bottom are all different lengths. So you, what you want to do is you make sure that you line your bottom piece up along your shortest edge. Double check that your orientation is correct, which it is. And we are going to, just like we sewed each individual piece on, sew right sides together with the quarter inch seam allowance. Now we're going to quilt the bottom piece and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew straight lines in between each of the sets of glasses. Okay, so I'm going to sew this line for the fourth time. First time I sewed in a pucker so I had to take the stitches out. Second time we ran out of a bobbin. Third time the thread broke. So we're going to hope fourth time's the charm. Fourth time was an unmitigated disaster. The bobbin came flying out came unthreaded. Pretty sure the needle hit the bobbin casing. Round number There we go, side number one is done. As you can see, it's a little bit of the batting showing at the bottom. We're gonna trim that off when we're all done. Now, I'm gonna make up the second side and then we will start to put together the two. And now we have two pieces, front and back, all quilted, ready to go. 
I've trimmed off the bottoms and measured them carefully. So each piece is now 16 and a half tall by 17 and a half inch wide. So you're going to take your inside fabric, cut two pieces, 16 and a half by 17 and a half. If it uh, matters, check your directionality and make sure you're cutting six, the height is 16 and a half and your width is 17 and a half to make sure that you've got the directionality right. You also need to cut from your handle fabric. You're going to want two pieces, three inches wide by 26 inches long. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go sew these pieces. All right, for your handle fabric, you have three inches by 26 inches. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half, wrong sides together. And we are just going to sew a seam straight down just like this. Straight down like that. Wrong side, no, and it, I do mean wrong sides together. And you're going to want to use a quarter inch seam allowance. Both handles are sewn, quarter inch seam allowance. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it to the iron and we're going to iron the seams open. And what you want it to do is you want the seam, you're going to iron them open like this and you want the seam to be the middle because what this is going to be is the back of your handle that we sew to the webbing. So you iron it open like that. Handles are ironed. Now what you're gonna do, is take the fabric, place it on top of the webbing, and we are gonna sew on either side of the handle. Now we have all the pieces we need to make a tote bag finally. So we have two handles, two insides, and then a front and a back. Now we assemble. First what we're going to do is we're going to place our handles and then put on a uh, clip on the inside fabric so we can start sewing it all together. Okay so we need to measure the placement of where we want the handles. I'd like to come in five inches from either side. So I've come in five inches, I've clipped on the handle. Make sure handles right sides together with your front and back fabric. So you've got them placed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sandwich the handle in between the front and the inside piece. So the inside is now clipped to the outside, handle in between. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew across 
the top here with a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat for the back piece and we will be right back. So we now have the front handle inside sewn together twice. And now we need to sew the bottoms together. And what you need to do, since we have this, the bottom piece, you want to make sure that on the sides of your bag, your bottom seams are going to match up. So before I sew across the bottom, I make sure that I clip Can you open that again? So see, I'm making sure that those are lined up. The two seams here. And I'm gonna put a clip there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here on the other side. I'm gonna put a clip there. And now I can sew across, I'll, I'm just gonna sew a straight line across here um, and I know that when I am going up and around, ultimately these should now line up on the sides as well. Another thing you have to be sure about lining up when you are sewing up your sides is to make sure the seam from your inside and outside fabrics are also lined up. So I always make sure I put a clip there as well. on each side. To make sure everything lines up perfectly. Okay. Bottom is sewn. We now have a clip together bag. Um, so what we have to do is cut out our bottom. So we're going to box it out a four inch square from all four corners. And then we are going to sew up and around, making sure that we leave several inch opening on the bottom of the inside fabrics to, so we can sew, uh, turn it right side out. And just like that, you have a completed tote bag. Nice wide bottom with your four inch box corners. Perfect for carrying all your knitting projects or crafting or, you know, put your cat in there. It's big enough. <laughs>